Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Sifu, and welcome to Mass Effect 3. Let's play. Okay, so we're back. At, right, I just got finished talking to Javik. Um, I'm going to look around the rest of the ship and talk to the rest of the crew before I move on to the next mission. Let's see who's on this floor other than Javik. Um, all right, Diana. Uh, Diana and Engineer Adams are here. Okay, I'll, get, I'll give a quick chat to them. You mean the biggest story in 50,000 years that I can in no way talk about? Say, so, yeah, I've seen him. Just wondering. <laughs> How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, get us support. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elcor cry. Okay. Good. We got somebody. So she'll help. She'll help bring the attention to Earth that, that we need. And then. Engineer Adams. How's it going? Haven't seen you since ME1. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams. What are you doing here? I was put in charge of the Drive Corps retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. But there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, is that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Um, no need for an apology. Your alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. Uh, what do you think of Edie? What do you think of Edie? <laughs> I we guess had the line. talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw it through. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her peg, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her, and in time I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Yeah, he's Did pretty great. Did stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up. It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus drive core has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty That's much. a little harsh. <laughs> I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. All right, and then finally we'll ask about his family. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. 
Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. Nice. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. Yeah, good for him. Okay, who else was there? Diana, Engineer, Javik. Yeah, I got them all. Okay. Alright, let's move up to... Uh, let's talk to James and uh, Steve again. See you there. This is a recording from Ferris Fields. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I lost my husband. I grieved. Said goodbye, made my peace. That's rough. You watched him get taken? You were talking to him when the collectors hit? I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Robert managed to get outside of the field the collectors put up. Instead of running, he called me. Uh, re remember that he cared. I'm sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion hits. There's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I've never felt as alone as I do right now. Uh, let's see. We're all alone or I'm here for you. Um... No, I'm here for you. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here. Anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard. I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? I know. Fair enough. Uh, oh, yeah, I can change my... Um... Alright, is it... Should, hmm. should I tweak any of this? Oh, no, that detracts from some of my other stuff. Looks kind of neat, though. Ooh, ooh, the stripes. Ooh, yes, with the stripes. Uh, oh, yeah, I definitely want the red. What about the tint? Ooh. Oh, I could go full Canadian here. Okay, yeah, you know what? Yeah. Canadian Shepherd. There we go. What's the other tint? Oh, I didn't even notice that one. Oh, there we go. Yay! <laughs> lights? Oh, it's just those little lights on the front. Uh, yeah, red. Of course. And definitely no helmet. Um... Wait, what was two? Oh, that one, that one. Oh, I, oh, I like that. Hmm, this one or this one? Yeah, this one. Yeah, I like that. I like to have a jacket like that. And, uh, oh, I should probably do some weapon modding at some point. But let's... Wait, what's this? Model Quarian? Hmm. Hey again. What's up? Uh, previous mission. You mentioned a mission you had against the collectors. What happened? Pretty much what I said. Things went foo bar, and I was one of the few to make it out. If you want the rest of the story, you're gonna have to get me really drunk, or, or what? That's about it. Sorry, Commander. Just not interested in talking about that. Next topic. 
Fair enough. Uh, has your state of mind? You had a hard time leaving Earth. You still want to head back? Hell yeah. But I get it now. It's not where I'd be most useful. Not yet, anyway. We'll get back there. I know. And I'll do whatever it takes to get us there, Commander. Maybe no more shuttle crashes. No promises now that I've gotten the taste for it. Besides, I like to keep Esteban on his toes. <laughs> we had springs, yeah, nicknames. What's with you and the nicknames? It's just my way of remembering people. Some people just don't match their names, you know? So, I just give them a new one. So, I'm a <laughs> loco, huh? Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty crazy, but the shit you've done <laughs> makes me look sane. Uh, Nicky. Oh, wait, no, I asked about Nicky's family. You got family back on Earth? Yeah, an uncle. Retired military. Got a few cousins I haven't heard from in a while. You and your uncle close? Yeah. He was the reason I joined the Marines and was about the only good thing in my life after my mom died. No dad? He's there. Somewhere. But I'm not sure I'd call him family. Not anymore. I would like to find out how my uncle's doing, though. Uh, and then Cortez. I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know each other. Yeah, Esteban did a stint on Fell Prime where me and my squad were stationed. I caught up with him on Earth a few months back. He's a good guy. Just don't tell him I said so. It'd go to his head. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. You bet. Uh, okay, so we've talked to everybody there. Um... Yeah, I guess I guess the crew deck. Yeah, I'll I'll go through everybody. I'll talk to everybody on the ship before I move on to a mission. Let's uh, stop a banshee when she becomes charged by damaging her while she uses biotic jumps to close in. Uh, oh yeah, and then all the all the names of the fallen, including. Kate and Alinko, there he is. I wonder if Dr. Chakwas has anything new to say. Hello. How are you, Commander? Oh, I guess not. Uh, I wish the sh I wish the chef was still here. Chef slash janitor. <laughs> uh, and oh, it's just Liara. Okay. Chat with her again. The private messages terminal has new correspondence. Oh. Hello again, Shepard. Uh, the Prothean device. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. You brought your little helper with you? Its name is Glyph. It helped sort through all the data that led me to the Archive on Mars. It was a pleasure to be of assistance, Doctor. Glyph's interfaced with the data feeds. Its analytical software should come in handy. <laughs> so, what's it like being the Shadow Broker? What's been happening with you as the Broker, Liara? It's been... exciting. The old Broker's ship... Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? Shepard, look forward. Come on, dude. Ferron and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus's ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. What kind of distraction? Sending the broker <laughs> like ship exploding to into a Cerberus cruiser. I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to reestablish contact. So where is Farron if you two escaped? Stop he trying to look at Cliff. He was recovered enough He's to not work, that fascinating. And I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to your doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. Yes, yeah, that's, that's what it is. He's staring at Cliff for some reason. Uh, what's new? What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. 
The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same <laughs> They're both thing looking when our agents began crossing paths. <laughs> like on Mars? I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. It's always interesting when two people have a conversation and don't make zero eye contact. <laughs> eh. I don't think there's any reason for me to go to the captain's cabin yet, so... Alright, to the war room. And, oh, maybe I talk to a uh, trainer. <sighs> oh, it's nice for this... Nice, it, nice for it to be cool in this basement. It's God, it was hot today. Holy sh hell, it was hot today. Those poor colonists on Eden Prime. First the Geth attack, now Cerberus. For what it's worth, our new crew member doesn't need a translator himself, but he shared a Prothean language tutorial program. It was apparently designed for servant races being inducted into the Empire. Charming cultural clue. Commander. Uh, what about Joker? So a Prothean, a real live Prothean. Has Liara stopped bouncing yet? I'm guessing there may have been some bouncing. Mm -hmm. Commander. Oh, and that's it. All right then, We're ready to do a mission now. That was fun, but I'll have to pause it there. If you enjoy my content and want to see more, do some of the stuff that the screen is telling you, and check out my other stuff. If you want to see me play live, check out the links in the description. Come talk to me, maybe even play with me. That is it for this episode, and I will see you in the next game.